GM. In this video, we're going to learn how tile mapping works with Cocos Creator. It's an efficient way to create levels, environments, and backgrounds. Let's begin. Tiled is a popular open source map editor that allows you to create tiled based maps with different layers. And these layers can be seamlessly imported into Cocos Creator, making it really convenient for us to build our game world. Now, I'm not going to teach you how to use Tiled, but there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube I'll link that'll be helpful. I made a quick map for this tutorial and it's ready to be imported. There are three files that you'll need to import the map correctly. The TMX file, which is the map. The TSX file, which holds the tile set. And the folder that holds the sprites for the tile set. And now, I made two layers. The foreground and the background. These will also be imported to Cocos with the same names. As of this recording, Cocos Creator only supports tiled version 1.4, so features after that version won't be compatible with Cocos, but once it's updated, I'll post a new video about it. Now let's import the map to Cocos Creator. Make sure you've organized your tiled files, including your tile set, map, and the folder of images in the same location. This ensures a smooth transition. Here I have a blank 2D project, and we're going to start by adding the tile map component. This property is where we'll place our TMX file, and you can leave culling enabled unless the map needs to be rotated or placed in a 3D camera. Also, if the map size is small, you can disable culling to reduce CPU load and the GPU renders directly using the cache. Let's add the TMX file into assets. And we'll see there's a warning looking for the TSX file. Let's add that in. Now we see an error message saying that an image doesn't exist. This is looking for the folder with all the images inside. Let's import the tiles folder. Now we can set the TMX property to the map. The map might look a bit deformed due to the default trimming settings, but we can easily fix this by changing the trim type to none on all the images. Be sure to click the green checkbox to save the changes, and now everything looks like the original map. Also notice the two named layers are imported, like I mentioned before, and we can edit them independently. One of the best features of tile maps in Cocos is that changes you make in tiled automatically updates here, so no need to re-import the same file. You just need to open the map through Cocos to open the file with the right path, and close out the other one so there's no confusion. So now if I add some random blocks and save, and go back to Cocos, it'll update the changes. Now let's make our tile map more interactive. We can add collision properties to certain tiles to create obstacles and barriers. Remember, as of this recording, Cocos Creator only supports tiled version 1.4 and their collision editor is in 1.10. Select the foreground and add a couple box colliders and a rigid body to it. I have a video attached all about physics and collision if you want to know more. These colliders will represent the ground and one of the platforms. And we're going to set the rigid body type to static. Now we're going to add a splash sprite with a box collider and a dynamic rigid body component attached to it. Let's run the scene. And we can see the sprite interacting with the foreground. These are the basics of using tile maps in Cocos Creator. This will apply for top-down maps as well. Links to the documentation is in the description. Like and share if you found this video helpful either to you or someone you may know. And support the channel by buying me a coffee using the QR code on the top left. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials in the future. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.